This video is brought to you by Patreon. Support Cyberborgtronic at patreon.com. Links below in the description. Welcome all cyber friends and cyber followers to this brand new video that I like to call Forgetting All About Summer. It makes me sad to know that summer has ended. Well, depending on where you're from, because if you're from California, the beaches over there are pretty sweet to enjoy. Speaking again about California beaches, today's game is Ancient Surfer 2, a game made by Summertime Game Studios, or whatever they're called. Anyway, their name is on the screen so you can clearly see. Also, I'm very bad at advertising. But enough about me, let's focus more about the game. What differentiates this game from all other Endless Runner, because if you haven't noticed, this is, in a way, an Endless Runner in a surfer style of gameplay. So, as I was saying, what differentiates this game from any other game is that, number one, the tricks that you can do. You can pop, uh, you can jump, or whatever it's called, um, and do tricks on the waves. You can also dodge, pick up coins, and um, there's always, in every single level, there's always going to be either a shark, either a worm, uh, an alligator or a dragon, I don't know what exactly that lizard creature is. I'm going to assume it's an alligator. But no, this game isn't like Temple Run, where behind you there's like that monkey that's trying to eat you or catch you. No, the true enemy that is going to end your run in this game is going to be the tide that usually follows you and becomes faster and faster as you progress, obviously. The extras being, like I said, the shark, the alligator, or uh, the worm, depending on which level you, you're in, will mostly try to eat you. So you're, you can either dodge it, or jump and do even more tons of awesome tricks. Surprisingly, in this game, there's no real-life money transactions involved. Yeah, surprisingly for a free-to-play game. Although the ads they're there, but they don't disturb you while you're playing, which is good. Also, if you uh, haven't noticed, there's an Echo the Dolphin minigame during the loading screen. That, by the way, will give you coins. Also, in this game, like I was saying, there is a lot of replayability value. Right from the amount of characters you can buy, the choice between a short board, a long board, and a body board. The choice to upgrade them, buy new boards, um, upgrade your what you're wearing to unlock new tricks, more speed, and also the amount of stages, like I was saying, and it differentiates itself from every single level that you buy. And right about now, there's only the graphics to talk about, which, as a matter of fact, remind me of the Sega Dreamcast 128-bit graphics. They're pretty cool, because it reminds you of the arcade days where everything used to be cool. This has been a Cyberborgtronic video. If you have enjoyed my review of Ancient Surfer 2, remember to hit like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.